Hello Beginning Orchestra! Welcome back! Here is your video lesson for today. I decided to start making some videos so I can spend more time checking in with each of you and you can still practice these lessons um, on your own nice and slowly and take your time. So the lesson that I'd like you to work on today is about rhythm and bow direction. Okay, so we have these nice easy rhythms on page 13 that we're going to work with. It's nice because we either just have a quarter note or we have a rest. So go ahead and turn your book to page 13. Do make sure it's up on your stand so you can see it. All right. And you're not having to lean down and look at the table. So you can have a nice tall posture. Even though we're not going to play, we're going to shadow bow. Shadow bow is when we just use the bow and we don't use our instruments. So you can have your cello or your violin to the side or your viola to the side and you're gonna have your bow, all right? Do make sure it's tightened up. And we're actually gonna use our rosins today, okay? And that's gonna help us shadow bow and we're actually gonna feel like we're playing on something, but it's not the string, okay? So we're gonna shadow bow together. You can pause the video if you need to to get your book, your rosin and your bow ready to go. And then we're gonna go ahead and do it page 13 together, all right? Um, we're actually going to skip down to number 37, all right? And it says, rosin wrap number one, bow these exercises on the rosin. So we're going to do that. We have our little rosin and our bow. And before we start, let's go ahead and just review what some of these symbols mean here, all right? You'll notice that um, it starts in 4-4, four, four, all right? And 4-4 four, four means we have four quarter notes in the measure, all right? So our, our beat or our pulse that's always going is this one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're counting to four and then we're starting over. It's not too hard to count, but it's important to know that we're counting in groups of four. All right, so you'll notice then we also have different directions. We have down, we have up, and then we have a rest, which obviously you'll just wait during the rest. It's still important to count the rest, but it's not, we're not gonna make any sound. All right, hopefully you remember that from the first part of the year. What's the difference between the quarter note, which is the little black dot with the line at the stem, and the little squiggly lightning bolt shape, which is your rest, okay? So the other really important symbol, I'm gonna actually draw it for you. It's so important, I want you to see it. These are the down and up bow symbols. So you might remember these. I think I talked about this already but I just wanna make sure that you recognize the symbols. These are really important symbols. We're gonna use them the entire rest of your experience playing your instrument. So we've got the square one and then the V, all right? So we've got this kind of like open square shape and then we've got a V shape, all right? And a nice easy way to remember this is it's actually kind of, it looks like your bow. So here we've got this open square, which is your frog, right? Do you see it's kind of looks like that shape if it was this way? And then we've got the tip, which is kind of a V, all right? So it's that way, right? So that's how I like to remember it. When you see this, you're going down bow, which means your frog is in charge. On the cello, it's kind of weird because things are horizontal. So down bow is out, okay? And up bow is in. But for the violin and viola, it is more down and up, which is nice, okay? So... Let me go ahead and draw these for you. Um, you can totally take your pencil right now and on the top of your page, you can draw yourself a little reminder. Down and up, I'll show you. And you can actually see on number 37, 38, and 39, they, they write the words for you, which is really nice and helpful. Okay, so you can notice. I just want you to notice these symbols and underneath it says up. If you like to write things down, you can take your pencil and write it down. But if you don't want to write it down, that's okay. You can just say it out loud, down, up, and then look at your page and notice that under, uh, um, under the first note, it says down, and the symbol above it is this square one, okay? So now that you understand those symbols, let's practice it together, all right? I'm going to do it all the way through, um, shadow bowing like this, just in front of you so you can see it, all right? We're gonna do that two times. And then I'm going to shadow bow like a violin player or a viola player. And then I'm going to shadow bow like a cello player. And then we'll do it on our rosin one more time. All right, here we go. We're going to go all the way through 37, 38, 39. We are going to do it five times, okay? And that's going to be your full practice for today. All right, finding a beautiful bowl hold. Go ahead and hold it with your left hand for a second. 
to check in that your thumb is bent and it's right by the nose of the frog, not inside the frog's mouth and not twisted, but it's bent like this. And then you use the corner of your thumb right on that little space between the frog and the grip. And you see there's a little piece of wood right there. And my fingers are wrapped around like so. If I'm a violin or viola player, I'll take my pinky and tap it on top. If I'm a cello player, just leave it right, right where it was. Okay, there we go, beautiful. Go ahead and straighten your arms out in front of you. Let's circle the bow a few times just so our bow hold feels nice and warmed up. Backward circles, beautiful. Go ahead and take your rosin and let's jump into it. So find the middle of your bow. Here's number 37. We're gonna say it and play it at the same time. Remember when it says down bow, the frog is leading. And when it says up bow, the tip is leading. All right, here we go. One and two and three and here we go. Down, rest, up, rest, down, Rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up, down, rest, up. Repeat, down, rest, up, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up, down, rest, up, rest. You'll notice that I am going from the middle to the tip every time. Okay, um, and then back, of course. So see if you can get all the way to the tip and all the way to the frog, except if you're a cello player. Okay, my cello players, please only use one section of bow. Okay, I want you to just go, yeah, yeah, cellos are just gonna go from the middle to this tape, okay? That's really important because cellos, because your instruments are bigger, you need to use less bow. Violins and violas, I want you to get all the way to the tip, Cellos, you can just go from the middle to the second dot, and that's beautiful, okay? That's gonna be nicer sounding on your big strings. All right, here we go, number 38. Find the middle of the bow. If your arm's getting tired, that means it's getting stronger, okay? If it hurts though, you can take a break, or even better, just breathe and relax your shoulders. Remember, it's your strong muscles that are doing this. When your arms, it's not your neck muscles. Your neck is relaxed. Your arms are strong. Here we go. Beautiful bow holds, middle of the bow, 38. One, two, here we go. Down, up, down, rest. Up, down, up, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, repeat. Down, up, down, rest. Up, down, up, rest. Down, up, rest, rest, down, up, rest, rest. 39, here we go. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, up, down, up. Repeat. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up. Rest, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up. The end. Okay, there we go. We did it. Hopefully you're able to follow along. If you got a little bit lost, no worries. We're going to do it again right now. Here we go. Remember to fully practice something. You need to do it at least five times successfully. Okay, so if you made a mistake today, don't worry. We're going to do this again tomorrow, but try your best to do five times right now. You can do it again when the video's over, but I'm gonna do five times right now so you can just do it with me right now. Here we go. Finding your beautiful bow hold again. If you need to check it on your knee, that can be helpful to kind of put it somewhere and like shuffle things around, make sure your pinky's round. I don't wanna see any bow holds like that. Okay, that's gonna end up hurting you. So round fingers, curl that pinky, bend the thumb. Here we go, middle of the bow. 37 again. Let's go just like a tiny bit faster. This time I'm gonna actually pretend to be a cello. Okay, so I'm only gonna go here and back. Violins and violas, I still want you to get all the way to the tip, but I'm gonna just do here and pretend I'm a cello player. Here we go. Five, six, seven, here we go. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, up, down, up, down, rest, up. Repeat, down, rest, up, rest, down, down, up, down, up, 
down, rest, up, rest. Here we go, 38, down, up, down, rest, up, down, up, rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, up, rest, repeat, down, up, down, rest, up, down, up, rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, up, rest, here we go, 39. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, up, down, repeat. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, up, down, up. All right. Here we are back at the middle. Let's go ahead and set our rosins down for a little bit. And I'm going to shadow bow over my shoulder now. And this is what a, vi a violin, when I say shadow bow in class, we will do this like as a group sometimes. And violins and violas will be here, okay? Because that's where you're gonna play, over the shoulder. Cellists, I would like you to be here and bass players, same thing, okay? And here we go. <clears throat> Let's go ahead, find that beautiful bow hold again. Nice round fingers curling the pinky. And here we go, 37, 38, and 39. One, two, three, four. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, up, down, up. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, up, down, up. Down, rest, up, rest. 38, here we go. Down, up, down, rest. Up, down, up, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, repeat. Down, up, down, rest. Up, down, up, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. 39, here we go. Down, up, Rest, rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up, down, up, rest, rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up. Beautiful. All right, we have two more times to finish five. So let's be cellists now. I'm gonna like tilt this a little bit so you can see my bow, there we go, okay? And I'm going to pretend I'm a cello player, so my pinky's coming underneath. And I'm gonna find the middle of my, my bow over my belly button, okay? And I'm gonna just go to the third tape here, okay? Violin players, I want you to do this again with me right now, but you're gonna stay here, all right? Uh, viola, same thing. Cello's down here, here we go. 37, same speed, go. Down, rest, up, rest, down, rest, up. Down, up, down, up, down, rest, up. Repeat. Down, rest, up, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up, down, rest, up, rest. 38, here we go. Down, up, down, rest, up, down, up, rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, up, rest, repeat. Down, up, down, rest. Down, up, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. 39, here we go. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, rest, up, rest. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, rest, Rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up. Beautiful. All right, last time, let's actually stand up. And we're going to do it in the air like this, down, up, down, up. And I find that to be really helpful because it's literally going down and up, which is really nice. So find your beautiful bow hold again. Bent thumb, round fingers, violin and viola tap. All right, curl that pinky. 
bring your arm out straight. This is also going to help you build strong muscles. If you want to play on your instrument for like a whole hour, you need to have pretty strong arm muscles, all right? And doing exercises like this will help. So will things like push-ups or if you do, um, yeah, like weightlifting, things like that. I have these little tiny weights. They're super cute. They're like two pounds. And I use these for my wrists. That really helps a lot. I do some stuff like that. And you can do things like that. That will make these muscles stronger. I really do recommend doing push-ups or planks, things like that, as long as you're really careful with your hands. All right, here we go. Last time. Rosin wraps, here we go. Straight arms, nice beautiful bowl holds. Here we go, 37. One, two, here we go. Down, rest, up, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up, down, rest, up. Repeat, down, rest, up, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up, down. All right, there you go. 38, one, two, here we go. Down, up, down, rest. Up, down, up, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, repeat. Down, up, down, rest. Up, down, up, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. Down, up, rest, rest. 39, last one, go. Down, up, rest, rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up, down, up, rest, rest, down, up, rest, rest, down, rest, up, rest, down, up, down, up. All right, nice job, everybody. I hope you're able to follow along with that. This is going to be something I'm definitely going to test you on. Are these directions? Maybe not especially this one um, for like a graded exam, but I do want, it's really important that you know these directions and we're going to use them, okay? So please, um, thank you so much for watching this, all, this video all the way through and I will see you soon. Thank you for being great students.